I guess things aren't going so well for him. You don't. We'll be watching you, Monsieur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. All right, I'm here. The fact that he's the leader of this area, you know, those people that I can actually like kill to open the way for conquest battles and stuff, uh, it doesn't exactly make me feel good for who this guy is. The public doesn't seem to like him very much. Hello, madam. Phoebe? Cassandra, it's you. Phoebe. What the you hell are you doing here? Each other again, and now we have. I also said stay out of trouble. Where's Marcos? Which I, I mean, I, I know where he is, I guess. He's definitely not here. Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you get here? And what? The, I just seriously asked that question. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. What did you do? Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. A little stowaway. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it here. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. Very. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. His wife. Okay. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. All right, Clara. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. Well, she seems like a good lady. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. I mean, that's kind of... Well... I do, actually. <laughs> All right. Whatever. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. I know! We just it had this conversation. Come on! When you try to fit in. But don't worry. I have just the outfit for you. Oh, why would you give me this choice? Come on, now. If I don't, they'll blame Phoebe. But if I don't have my weapons and something goes wrong in there... I don't want to get Phoebe in trouble. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner and I'll come back when you're done. I hope I didn't just make a mistake. <laughs> but okay, this isn't Detroit, okay? Like, you, you it's fine. comfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. <laughs> it is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. The time is that everything? Of seduction. You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling sure to get the right now. <laughs> Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Wouldn't dream of it. Man, Cassandra, you dress up nice. Hello, Herodotos. Cassandra looks really good in red. <laughs> Here, Cassandra. Hey. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late. You have any idea how long it Herodotos. takes getting armor off? Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. What? Oh. Never. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Okay, thanks for the You really for think the these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. Okay. 
They may not look oh, it, God. but this group holds the way to the future. I don't go to um, parties. How how do you mingle? <laughs> ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Sophocles, what? Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. <laughs> they appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> What's wrong with comedies? <laughs> Even Shakespeare wrote comedies. Come on now. Of course, that's <laughs> way into the future from here, but... I've definitely heard of Sophocles. I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Hey, Socrates is here. Um... <laughs> no, Socrates is pretty great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. <laughs> and the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachos. <laughs> if you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help. Wait, I thought I was here to see him. Vile Socrates. Oh my god, please put some clothes on. appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his... Do I look like a warrior to you? Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time Oh my god, you're freaking Viserys Targaryen, look at you. What a... Okay, bye. I... not... Who the hell are you even? Go chat with her. Or him. You know what? Whatever fault you broke. I don't judge. Uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Alcibiades. Be good. I'll just call him the don't Ceres. drink too much. So, tell me, what does a mystios like you what? Think okay. of a party like this? Rude. It's a good place to meet people. But they're definitely not my specialty. That guy is not interesting. He's annoying. <laughs> this is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Uh, yeah, that's, Thank that, you, that was my plan. Now, that was my plan. If you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. My bro oh, oh, Demos, right, that guy. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> God damn it, I don't... <laughs> Should I... No, he needs to go talk to Pericles. Or does he? I don't entirely trust Pericles. I don't know what it is about him, but... I don't know, the public doesn't like him. And whether or not that's the cult's fault, or Cleon's fault, or whatever. I don't know. Should I let Hero the- Hero the- Hero the- You have a hard name to pronounce, sir. Should I let him go? And let him tell Pericles about Demos and the cult? Uh, or should I be like, please don't leave me, I am an aw I'm awkward as I'll get out in this party, which is totally what I would do in real life. Please don't leave me. Uh, I'm a big girl. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Hey, Stella barking over there. Me too. Okay. Gather information on my mother. Am I just mingling? Am I just gonna talk to people? Let's go over here, I guess. Ah, then. Oil and love? Oh god, is this- is this where Viserys went? Hmm, 
Okay. Is this gonna... Yep. I think it's gonna get awkward. It's gonna get awkward. It's already awkward. Someone's being hurt. It's not. Open this door or I'll kick it in. It's not. They're not. They're having lovey-dovey time. Hello. Oh, oh, oh I don't, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. I told you. Look at you. Look at you. Fuck Such up. Such authority. Such aggression. No. I can no. see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? No, I did not. It sounded like someone was in pain. No, that's well, just the orgasm, be Cassandra. Hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Told you. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. Please stop with the euphemisms. I can't handle the euphemisms. I'm not here for the party, sir. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other. No, though, someone specific. You fetch us a bit of oil. I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. They're, they're not. She's not in there. <laughs> I think I'll check all the same. Don't wink at me. <laughs> Do not wink at me. I'll, uh, I'll help you, though. After your display earlier. again i have Probably to build trust with people the oil. despite oh, what i might too. think i knew i liked you oh my god I don't hate take you. too long okay <laughs> yeah, i do he liked to dip his bald head in oil and rub it all over my body <laughs> seinfeld reference okay Wait, no, hold on. Um, I suppose I should probably... No, wait. I want to... Where do I get oil? Here we go. Track that. Oh, wait. Is it back in their room? No, I still have to get oil. I don't know where to find oil! I'm not good with parties, especially of the orgy type. Excuse me. Of course, I only use the terms war or god you or wouldn't civility be, you're in the context of what can be observed. Okay. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? No. I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Hello. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense. Gotta build trust. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Cleon is an idiot. Um, no, because this guy obviously likes Cleon. The next great leader, right? I have to get these people to trust me. Fuck it. I saw Cleon speaking at the Pnicks. He's a real man of the people. So... You have a taste for politics. Not really. That's certainly better than most of the elitist blowhards in this house. I take it you and Pericles are well. Friends. I mean, that's the point of being elitist, Kindly, right? Let me post let the Political privilege. I don't like to get involved to instead of actually having to get involved. Power. That's Not privilege. That it worked yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. Oh, here. Okay. Why would Pericles invite you? Because he's di a diplomatic human being, probably. <laughs> uh. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? No shit. I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or God? Oh, forget it. He doesn't even... God doesn't even exist yet at this point, bruh. Um... So they don't know anything. I'll go now. Okay. This has been useless. Get it. <laughs> I need to get the oil. Does anybody here have oil? A new face in Pericles' abode. Hi. Ha, 
That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the Orange Ape. <laughs> Tell me, what does it I know mean? somebody else who could be called the Orange Ape, just saying. Um... Yeah, don't call me it. Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. Oh so, my! What do they call God? You? I hate you Cassandra. so fucking much. Hmm. I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Everybody's. You're making it really oh, hard on. to be nice to Introduce you. Introduce yourself. I'm every Pivis. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good it's all up here. Quiet lives, as old every Pivis likes to say. Don't you every Pivis? I like that quote. Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden boy. Don't seem to like either the of them. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. Okay, that did not help me at all. I suppose I'll just pick this up on here. Hi, what's up? Are you, um... Oh god, I suppose you're coming yes. here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I don't mock. At least I don't try to. You're a rich arrogant. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, I'm not actually. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. I mean, besides me. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. Wow! Okay, then! You could talk to every Pidis. She's the second most worldly man here. Okay. That pediculous, xanthodontus, exothalmic I don't know what any of those But were. he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no words. I have no idea what that meant. Heck, I don't know either. No, you don't. I'll just take it to mean that... Um, I don't want to make a scene. He's damn drunk. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. Ah. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. Just out of curiosity. You're awfully worked up over every Pidis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. You, you Why yeah, he slams the ego with on a you, banal sir. young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. Okay, <laughs> whatever. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Okay, so I'm getting him sweet wine. Uh Hello, madam. I don't know why should I for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? Oh, you're a slave. Well, that's sad. Um sweet. I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, I got it. Now I gotta give it to uh, every, every, every P fucking whatever. He's that one, okay. <laughs> it's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. Jesus, enough of you and your impressions. I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, you should have a drinking competition, or I'm here to serve you. I have to gain trust, which means... 
If I tell him you should have a drink, he's not gonna trust me if I'm like, you should get wasted, right? Also, this guy over here just called me an it. So, this is probably what they want to hear, right? I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring mushrooms. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I Perhaps one drink. He's not gonna tell me shit if I don't get him drunk first. Um, if I'm a servant, he's not gonna help me, right? I'm a servant. I'm supposed to help him, not the other way around. Ah, uh, drink up, buddy. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This, this is pure swill, amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Alright, buddy! Have another! Ready for more? He's not gonna help me! I said I was a servant! He's not under no obligation to help me! I'm not gonna waste my time. Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more! He's starting to unwind a little. I will try once, now that he's had two. I just said I wasn't gonna do it, but fuck it. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Yeah, Let's see, focus on that first, shall we? I told you. See? Not gonna work. You ready for another? Worth a shot, but I told you it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> Oh, God! This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? Fuck, you got drunk real quick. I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pyrrhus, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine... Argolis. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. <laughs> He's a physician, <laughs> best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'm good, thanks. I'll think about it. That, no, I, I... That is in Argos. Here I come. But I still want to get that guy some oil. <laughs> I mean, I don't, but, you know, I want to do all the quests while I'm here. I just don't know where to look. How's every peeves? Drunk, I hope. Oh, he's wasted, bro. He can't! He, he saw two of me! Lucky him! You can stop hiding in here. Every Pythis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. You are hiding in First they place. take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. Yeah, that's why a rich, Did egotistical man like you took refuge Tell in the kitchen. I said thank you for another colorful evening. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I did that. Now I gotta go find some oil. You know, the one I haven't talked to yet is so uh, Socrates. I suppose I'll just talk to him. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? Okay, yes, I can't talk to them. Uh, okay, I'm talking to Socrates now. Am I gonna have to pick which one I think it is? Being so new to Athens and gaining access to this symposium is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gained Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? I think you guys have been arguing enough. Seriously. If you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Oh, God. 
Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! Fuck you! He is 100% right! Uh, not exclusively, but most of the time, yeah, they are. Got one in my country right now. I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war. Doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? Yes. But he is contradicting himself. <laughs> I want to keep you talking just about said this. The general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. Okay. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. Oh, I'm working on time. Aspasia. Huh? What? She's here? Well, hey there. You're pretty. Diplomatic one. I gotta go talk to her. Hi. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. Sure. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Putting in a good Not word for me. Thanks, Cassandra kid. will be right behind you. Now, I mean, I would like to talk to, to you, introduce but... myself. My name is Aspasia. I gathered that much. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I could lie. I don't want to lie too much. Like, these people already know. And again, like... That's what Hiro Hirodotus that guy <laughs> said. I can't say his word. Hirodotus said to not let the people in this party intimidate me. If I just keep constantly lying like that wasn't me, I didn't do it. I totally look intimidated. And if I say I did what was necessary, she's not gonna like that because it was totally against Athens. So I'm gonna go. Your here. spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. Okay, well, I didn't want you to say that. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. Yeah. Thank you. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. Discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathe there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. Okay. What else? At least it's not the Lannisters. Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. 
mostly legitimate anyway. <laughs> okay. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend, an admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we Warrior princess? Her, she nope. was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, okay, Asia. That helps. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Just out of the kindness of your heart, huh? Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guest. Okay, I can do that. Uh, there it is. Dock into Pericles. Whoops, there's Flutterpot there. Okay.